morning. Happy Thursday. I am, I'm really sorry if the camera's all jiggy. I'm just filming it on my phone because I'm pushing Ivy. We are off heading out to a pottery painting class, which is lovely. Um, and I thought I'd walk down because it's only local to me um, and local in my town. So what they do on, they, they do put a reading class on and then I think it's about Ladybird. I can't remember, it's a Julia Donaldson book. So yeah, they have a little reading time and then they've prepared some Oh, we're just stuck on a stick, aren't we, Ivy? Let's get off that stick. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, they've prepared these um, clay ladybirds. So Ivy's going to paint them once we have read the story. So I'm really looking, looking forward to it. And then after that, I think I might grab um, a nice coffee from our local coffee shop that I love to go to. And so does Ivy because she loves the toast from there. And they've got some cute little toys to play with and stuff. So yeah, I'm just making the most of the sunshine. I can't believe how hot it is. Um, it's supposed to be 25 degrees today, which is amazing. So I've got on a summer dress. I've not actually been able to wear this. Oh, sorry, I'm going off camera. Um, I've not actually been able to wear this. It's from Mango. Um, so I'll link it in the description box below if it's still available. Happy Friday. I am just about to get ready, so I've done all my makeup. I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> Ivy is here. We are waiting for Grandma and Granddad, aren't we? To come. So we are just getting ready. And then I am just going to do a bit of a day in life today. Um, I've got to sort the living room out because somebody has been playing with all the toys this morning. So I'm going to do that. Um, I've just stripped the bed in, so I'm going to wash the bed in. And then, yeah, just a bit of cleaning up, I think. Um, I just wanted to pop on as well to show you this. Um, Can I try? Yeah, one second, baby. So it is, it's called Got To Be, um, oh, is there a name on it? I don't think there is. I Basically, all night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically, it is a um, glue. So it's multi-purpose. So I've used it on my brows this morning because I look quite like the feathered look of the brows. And then also you can use it to hide, to do your flyaways. So I've just done it on this side. I don't know if you'll be able to tell properly, but I'm going to do it on this side. But I just thought I'd have a little rave about that because I know everyone, it's probably not just me, who struggles with all the flyaways because they do my head in, especially when I just want a slick bun look like today. So yeah. Um, I'm just going to do that now and I will pop back on later when I'm fully dressed and when Ivy is gone. So I have just got dressed. Um, I've put on a Massimo Dutti vest and these pants are from Mango. I've just popped in my Monica Benedict earrings and my bracelet. And yeah, um, it's quite warm today because yesterday it was 25 degrees which was a very very welcome <laughs> after all the depressing weather you will obviously notice that I now have a camera <laughs> um, obviously my iPhone was fine but I just thought if I was going to do more of this so I decided to invest in a camera so yeah I can all get all the better content for you guys and obviously I'll be filming my guest bedroom reveal very soon so I want it all professional I think I can hear my mum and dad coming now because I've got the windows open so I will catch up with you both soon
So I just wanted to show you the full utility after I styled it with the Home Bargains pieces because one of my last videos someone commented saying you couldn't see the top of the peg shelf so I thought I would show you. So this is the peg shelf we had. We had it bespoke made um, by a local company but I can try and link some similar below. I know H&M do really nice peg shelves. Um, but yeah, so that is the candle up there that I got from Home Bargains obviously. And then the Home Bargains piece is there. But yeah, I'm loving how this space is. Sorry, you can hear the washing machine. Um, but I'm getting all the washing out well. The weather is nice, so it can dry outside. But yeah, I just thought you'd appreciate that. I just thought I would share the kitchen. Now I have styled up all the sofa all port pieces. I'm absolutely loving how this space is looking now. And obviously the weather helps. But yeah, I've just popped a print here because I had a woven fruit basket. But I've just popped that from the utility. Uh, that print's from Troll Prints. The lamp is Neptune. The picture is from Fox and Bo. And the candle is Tesco which is pleasantly surprising. I never go Tesco normally, but yeah, um, I just thought I'd pop on and show you over here what the tea towel looks like now. So I've just draped it over the bread basket. It's kind of like a bread basket slash fruit bowl as well, but yeah. Um, how nice does that sunlight look? Oh, honestly. Days like this are just the best for shooting content, honestly. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna miss it so much. I just wish the sun could stay forever. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up this loaf. I wish I could say I made this, but I'm definitely not that good. <laughs> that is from Marks and Spencers that I picked up. Um, so yeah, this is just the tea towel there that you can just see drapes. And I'm sorry the dishwasher's on. I've just popped one of those um, Dr. Beckman dishwasher tablets in. Um, so yeah, that's just doing its thing. Um, here is the four basil pot. So this is actually, yeah, it's four. It's not real. I know how realistic it looks. <laughs> um, but that is from Blue Hill Interiors. And I have a discount code, which is Rachel10, which will get you 10% off that. They are sadly sold out. She is hoping to get some more in. But obviously, you can still use the code. And I've actually received some packages from Blue Hill Interiors this week that I will be showing you. Um, in another video coming soon, but yeah, you could be able to use your code then. Um, this candle is from Aldi, which is a total white company dupe. How nice does my washing look, by the way? Just hung up. So nice, so nice to see. <laughs> um, these chopping boards, they are from Dunelm. They are such a good Neptune dupe. Um, the cake stand is from Neptune, as well as the the dome. Um, this print, which you can't really see, oh, oh dear, one second, <laughs> I'm going to have to let that slide, oh gosh, oh my god, that was close, <laughs> all for the sake of showing you this print, but yeah, this one is from Troll Prints, and the frame is from the range, um, this pot is from Boxwood Interiors, and then I've just styled it up with some wooden utensils from Sainsbury's. Little sugar pot from Neptune, and this is what I picked up in the Neptune sale recently. Um, it's from the Alney collection. It's like another serving platter, which I absolutely love. I won't pop it back up just because I don't want another accident. <laughs> um, but yeah, I forgot to mention this basket is also from Fox and Bow, which is one of my favourite homeware um websites at the minute on instagram i found them through there um but they are so nice they just actually dropped some new pieces in this morning so i'm currently adding those to the basket <laughs> um but yeah i just absolutely love this corner um sometimes it can just look a bit over fussy but i do really like it um just in case you're wondering this little platter is from neptune um the salt and peppers i'm not so sure actually where they're from could actually do with cleaning them. Dishes from Neptune with some, just some pasta inside this. Oh my god, this is the best bread dipper you will ever find. So I picked this up from Holmes Mill in Clitheroe, but they'll probably do them. Um, um, 
I managed to find them on Instagram actually. They'll probably do them in a few places, but that with some nice bread, which I might actually have to slice that open and dip some bread in tonight. Um, and then, the, yeah, these are just some little dipping bowls from Neptune. So, yeah, I'm loving how the space is looking. Obviously, you can see it might see a bit clearer now. The sun's gone down, but how beautiful. Love that. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's like to live with an almost three-year-old. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah, since she's just headed off out with my mum and dad, I just thought, let's do a little time lapse to motivate me to get this back restored into normal working order. <laughs> but yeah, this is why the trunks are so handy because i can just put everything in there and you would never know <laughs> That is a much better. <laughs> oh gosh, it only took me 10 minutes, but I just feel so much more calmer and I'll be able to start all what needs to be done today, knowing that I have a nice clean living room. Um, so I'm just gonna catch up on some emails now whilst I have a brew and gonna edit some images ready for Instagram. Hello, um, so it's a couple of days later now. Today it is Sunday and I am off out with Ivy and my mother-in-law and we are gonna go to a sunflower farm. So I thought that'd be something really cute to do for a Sunday. Um, it's open all day and it's a free, free event um, to go to, which is really good, especially when the holidays, because so I always struggle to, um, do things with ivy so I thought this would be really cute um, so yeah we're just going to turn up you can pick your own flowers and they also have somewhere to coffee shop and some ice cream it might not be ice cream with an L but yeah um, so I just thought I would just pop on um, I'm just wearing something really simple because I think it's supposed to be quite muddy on the farm so I've just got on an old jumper from H&M, um, a gilet that I actually got from Amazon and I really like it. I will link it down below and just some, I don't know, leggings, some fluffy socks and I'm going to go and get my wellies out <laughs> um, just in case and I've got some stuff for Ivy. But yeah, I thought you might enjoy just a bit of a day in the life, what we get up to at the weekend because a few of you have commented on previous videos asking for a day in a life as well as house tours so i am just in the process of trying to plan that for you um, it might be in like sections of different rooms but we'll see i'll try and get that sorted thank you for all the love on uh, this table skirt i still have it set up now <laughs> i know some of you have already um purchased some of the items even before my discount call went live but yeah i absolutely love it um, it's so nice so yeah, uh, I've just got a bit of minimal makeup today. I've got Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Flawless Filter. It's the, uh, oh, what is it called? I'll link it down below. It's, it's like the liquid. It's not the foundation. It's more like the highlighter. Um, and yes, I've got on, I've been using a new lip cream uh, from Lano Lips. Um, usually I use Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, but they didn't have it when I went into the store. So I thought, a few people have raved about the Lano lips, um, but yeah, they were all cracked the other day and they were so sore and literally within 24 hours of me putting it on, um, it's all cleared up. So yeah, I would highly recommend that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you along now, I'll stop nattering along because I'm going to be late. But yeah, enjoy the vlog.
everyone um i am just in the car i am on my way to ikea um, i'm going to go to the manchester store but sadly there has just been an accident on the motorway literally just at the junction that was due to pull off out so i'm currently stuck in traffic because they've closed three lanes so there's just one lane open um, and there's a police car, two police cars gone down so hopefully everyone who is involved in the crash I hope they're okay obviously um, but yeah luckily I'm in no rush today I've just dropped Ivy off at her nana's so yeah I'm heading to Ikea today because as you may have seen in my other video uh, with the Ikea frames that I recently got for the new prints from Muse Home I really like those frames and because they will be going in the guest bedroom I wanted to get some more for the kitchen because I really like them so I'm going to get two more of the large prints I think I, I don't know if I went mentioned or not but they're 50 by 70 so and the prints that I got are A3 so yeah um, I'm going to pick those up and I also want to get my kitchen a little more organised. Yeah, I'm going to get some baskets and then I'm also going to get some like cereal boxes. So I thought I might as well have a little natter on here. Um, so today is Tuesday and this morning we have booked a holiday which I am so excited for. I cannot wait for some sunshine. And I think the last time we went away was with Ivy. She was around 18 months, so that was back in like 2021. Um, in October, um, we went to Cyprus then. But yeah, so we are going to go to Tenerife, which I've been to before, but only when I was really young. So we just want to try somewhere different. Normally we go to like a place like Greece. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try somewhere different, so looking forward to that. So that is October. So yeah, and I was doing all like my research last night because I went to the travel agents and got some suggestions from her. So I went back home and looked at them. And I like to look at the reviews and everything. Um, and especially with being an all-inclusive. Um, just for the ease, really. So we could just literally stay in the hotel. Ivy can have all the food she wants, we don't need to worry about buying a meal and wasting money and everything so and she can have all the drinks and ice creams that she can, her desires. <laughs> Exciting deliveries from some small businesses, so I've got um, a delivery from Blue Hill Interiors that arrived and then I had one delivered yesterday from a brand called The Pure Edit which oh my god if you don't know about them go and check them out on Instagram, they are a beautiful brand the fabrics are stunning so I actually ordered some samples from the website kindly sent me some cushions so I can unbox them with you it might not be in this video it might be in another one and how long this vlog will be but it will be coming nonetheless but yeah I might have a look around Ikea and I want to actually look at the four flower collection because with autumn in mind I know they do some really nice ones for summer so hopefully they might have some autumnal stems, fingers crossed. We'll pop back on when I arrive at Ikea and yeah, I will show you around. I just wanted to show you this because this really reminds me of the William Morris print. I think. Uh, it's not that one, is it? No, it's definitely not that one. It's a different colour. But some of these beddings are really nice. There's like a green check print. And then this one's like a really nice green one. It's like a stripe. You can just see up close there. And then this one's lovely. I thought this. Would be really nice um, in Ivy's room. So I've just come to this section because how nice is this print? 
I love it. It's so nice. Um, I'm just thinking of the guest bedroom, whether just to get it just to try. It looks so nice, like if you see it hung up there. How pretty is that? And then obviously they put it with the green accents. How nice does it look against those? So I've just come to the duvet cover just to see what it looks like. Big. And oh, it's really nice. I'm just... I don't know if it were just slightly bigger print. I just don't know if it'd be too busy for the bed. Um, they've also got this one, which mm, is new, but I'm not really a fan of that one. This one's lovely. This one makes such a nice print for a, a girl, little girl's bedroom. That's so pretty. And I also love this one. How pretty is that one? Very delicate, more like a lighter grey print. Look. How cute are these little baskets? These really remind me of something you see on like H&M home or I've seen something really similar on Fox and Bow recently as well. So it's £13. Oh it's set of three set of three as well. That's really handy. And this you don't even have to have the lid on. You could probably just pop that on the bedside table and just pop all your jewellery and little bits in. Love those. I'll we'll come to the basket section because do you really come to IKEA without coming away with some baskets? <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think how many I need. Um, how much are these? So they are £10. I mean, they used to be so much cheaper than that, I'm sure. Obviously, with the popularity of them, they probably put the price up. But yeah, I'm going to get some of those, pop those in the basket. Um, how many do I need? I think I'm going to get some of these ones as well. Now they look really small. I'm sure I've got bigger ones than that. But I just thought to put on top of the kit of the fridge in the kitchen. Just for extra storage and I can put all the napkins and because I've got loads of linen um, for the kitchen. So I thought they might be better as well. So I'm gonna get some of those too. So this is also a really nice frame if you are, are looking for a frame. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the wood, the Havasta frame, but it's a really nice detail. So they do it in the 50 by 70 and they also do it in the 40 by 50. You can kind of see like the wood grain there. Oh, it's a bit rubbish there, but that's it from afar. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. In case, a little far there. So this is the frame that I'm looking for, but can I find it? No. So after looking everywhere around the photo frames, they don't actually have a photo frame in stock. The whole reason I came here for so yes. Hello. I am now home after a semi, um, not, what's the word, not productive, semi-successful trip to Ikea. So normally I do go to the one at Warrington, but I don't know what made me think. I think it was because I had, I was thinking of going to Trafford Centre. So it's the one in Manchester, never been there before. It's not as good as Warrington one, I must say that. Um, so obviously the reason I went to Ikea was because I wanted to get some more frames like the Havasta ones that we have up here because obviously the prints will be going up into the guest bedroom. So that was my sole purpose of going to Ikea. Got there, started filling my basket. I've got some baskets. You'll probably see my whole baskets and um, some storage drawers because I'm thinking of doing like a kitchen organisation because it's well overdue. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to get it all sorted and I thought I need to get some frames, so let's go. So I made a list, got everything, put everything in the trolley, got to the frame section. I saw the Havasta frames on the wall, um, like when they do like a little designing and um, show how they style it up and everything. I was looking around for ages and I thought, I don't, I really don't like asking anyone until I've definitely checked 
the whole <laughs> the whole area of the photo frames anyway i did end up asking a lady for help and she said they were sold out so yeah i don't know if that is due to popular demand or what i do not know but clearly they are popular oh god that sunshine very bright <laughs> but yeah due to they're just being out of stock obviously clearly popular they are um they are beautiful frames so that's probably why so yeah um what i don't know what to do now i feel like you're on the slam are you on the slam okay that's better isn't it no. <laughs> i've just got you up on a tripod balancing on a fruit bowl that's upside down <laughs> um i just wanted to show you actually because i didn't get a chance to show you when last time from vlogging but i'm just popping the water now so i might just keep them in there might be easier to show you but these are the sunflowers we collected from the sunflower farm how beautiful are they um so i'm going to open them up soon and i'm going to try and get my secateurs out and cut them down because they are a bit too big and I've possibly got another vase that I think they would look nice. But how beautiful are they? So these were from a local farm. And they were either £1.50 a stem. Or if you got five more, they were £1 a stem. So I got um, a bunch of five for £5, which is amazing. And I also got some for my mum as well. And surprised her with a bunch of flowers. So yeah, I got those. And I also, whilst I was there, they had some wildflowers growing and so i picked up these wildflowers i'm trying to show you on camera let's see if i can this might not be able to but these are so beautiful wildflowers now i am no alan titchmarsh <laughs> but i believe they are cosmos cosmos uh, i'm not too sure what the blue ones are maybe someone in the comments below could help me um verify those but yeah i just thought they'd be really cute so i might either split them up and put them in like little bud vases around the house um or keep them as a bunch but yeah we shall see so i got those I'm going to get cracking what i might do is i'm going to show you quickly what they look like now and then i might um put on some music some motivational music and then just get stuck in um Oh, I'm actually get the things out of the car to show you. Um, what I actually bought for my gear. Do I do that first? Why not? Yeah, I'll go and do that now. That I got, so I will quickly show you. So I picked up, I mean, do you even go to IKEA without getting some of these? <laughs> so I stocked up on some baskets. Um, these will either probably be four the um, inside the cupboards um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute I've just noticed that ever so slightly that this one's bigger I don't know if you can tell which is slightly annoying that'll hopefully it'll still fit in the cupboards but yeah got those two and sticking to the oh actually I'm all sick the thingy these are what I got next so these are just some bath mats now we were in dire need of some new bath mats um normally i get these ones because i love the bobble texture i normally get these in white but i thought just for a change i got them like a nice brown like taupey shade um so one for the main bathroom and another for the own suite so i can remove the other ones and what i like about these as well i think is it the same yeah it's got like a rubber um on the bottom so it stops it from moving as well so yeah got those Pop those to one side and uh, next up i got these cookie jars so these are just the standard ones they're a bit like i can't remember what the brand is but yeah just three of those and what i like to use is pop these in um pop biscuits in these which is good i feel like i'm bending down there, that's better. I feel like I'm crouching down. Um, yeah, so I've got three of those, and because I've already got some of these and I popped the labels on, but we needed some more. So I've got those. And then again on storage, um, I'll pick up these. So these are just some cereal boxes. Again, we already have some of these, but we needed some more because with Ivy getting older, she's a bit fussy when it comes to cereal, and she's always forever changing her mind. 
So she loves one day she'll have Rice Krispies, next day Cheerios, Shreddies, Wheat Bix. So yeah, <laughs> so I definitely needed some more storage boxes for those. And I got four of those in total, another two there. And then um, next up are these baskets. So I got two of these. Um, I have these in under our coffee table in the living room. And it's great just to put like TV remote, magazines, anything like that. But I thought either I could put them either on top, um, you can't see it because it's out of shot, but either on top of the kitchen cupboards or the on top of the fridge. Um, and I thought it'd be a great way to um, store all my napkins and linens and tablecloths just so I can get them down and if, whenever I'm changing up the tablescapes I could just bring it down it's just a lot easier to store them so I've got two of those and then lastly are some glasses so these are just to replenish the ones that get smashed from like if we have people around like house parties um I should have made a note really of what exactly what we needed but I just kind of guessed so I just got two pint glasses two um prosecco glasses and I really like the shape of these they look so expensive they remind me of the ones that I've seen at Neptune so yeah I got two of those and then I picked up some two wine glasses as well so again I just love like the shape underneath here they're really nice they are I'm not even going to try and pronounce but the name is I don't know if it's going to focus there if you can see that um so yeah that is everything that i got from ikea so i what i'm going to do now is i'll show you the cupboards what the current state of affairs are like in there and then i am just going to either take everything out and just give it a good clean um i know some cupboards i really need to like purge and get rid of loads of things because there's some of them would probably be out of date and stuff especially the baking bits um, so yeah, let's do that.